I know why you're here. You're here because you want bangs. You want bangs and you're scared because everybody's scared of bangs because bangs are so scary. It's a piece of hair that hangs out right on your forehead, right there where everybody can see it and it's so scary because how are you gonna style it? What if they look bad that day? Like, here's what you need to know about the fringe. The fringe is gonna be a little bit different every day, but there are two keys that I have for you for styling them to make them behave a little bit better. Key number one, make sure your fringe is thick enough. Mine go all the way back to right here on my head. I want you to see exactly how far that is. It's it's fairly far. Uh, this is not a wisp of a fringe. So the more bangs you have cut, the more obedient they will be. Key number two, you can always fix them if they don't look right. If you style them and they're not coming out, they're sticking up all different places, you know what? The magic thing about water is it breaks the hydrogen bonds in your hair so that you can reshape it. If they're funny, then use some water, break them up, Fix them the way you like them. Let them dry that way completely, just like the rest of your hair, and you'll be golden. And I'll give you a bonus tip too. Make sure they're short enough. If they're too long, if they're getting in your face and they're constantly bugging you, they're gonna separate, they're gonna do all kinds of stuff that drive you absolutely nuts. So those are my two tips with a bonus tip. That's it, bangs are really easy, I promise you, and they're super, super fun. They're easy to grow out because then you can just swoop them to the side with your curly do. They're great, I am loving my bangs. I'm gonna be hard pressed to let these babies grow out. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna show you not only how to style them, but also how to trim them yourself because you probably are going to need to trim them up like, every couple weeks. That's way too often to go to your stylist. I'm in cosmetology school. I am trying to help you guys hands-on in person. I don't even wanna see you every other week to cut your bangs. I mean, I don't mind, but like, you don't wanna come in that often. I don't want you to come in that often. You can do it at home. It's really easy. So I'm gonna show you how to do that, and I'm gonna show you how to style your wavy bangs. So let's hop into it right this way. Hello, everyone. Fresh out of the shower, just scrunched out my hair with my hair repair t-shirt towel, and now I'm going to go dry this mess. I'm gonna show you guys exactly um, what I do to get these bangs to behave, because this video is all about bangs, so here we go. Okay guys, so I am using my hair repair towel. I've already used it once, I'm gonna use it again to scrunch out any excess water. If you're not familiar with the hair repair t-shirt towel, I'll put the link in my description box below, but basically it's the same as a t-shirt. It's t-shirt material. So if you're using a t-shirt, that's fine. If you want to sort of elevate your uh, scrunch out the water um, experience, here is the tag if that's helpful to any of you. So I don't really do anything special in the shower with my hair um, to get my bangs to pay attention. They just kind of know where they are, as yours will too, but this is where the pick comes in. So I get the pick and I comb them forward just to try to find them all. There they are. Got a lot more than we thought we did. I'm gonna take them, scrunch them, just to kind of remind them what it's like to live a curly life. From here I'm going to dry my hair and it's really not indifferent. I kind of feel bad almost doing this video because I really don't do that much different. I do blow dry my bangs along with the rest of my hair upside down to begin and then I flip back up and assess the situation. So from here, I'm done drying my hair upside down. I stand up and I just sort of assess. You might need to give it a minute to let it settle. I have a video uh, where I talk about just letting your hair settle first thing in the morning. It's the same with blow drying your hair. It will settle down. If it's a little crazy at first, at least mine does. So um, at this point, I'm kind of happy with the way it's looking. I'm going to dry the rest of it and just completely ignore my bangs. If they're starting to fall a little bit flat, I'm going to clip them up from underneath. So at this point, I'm gonna dry the rest of my hair, clip it up as needed, and I'll be back with more. As I'm drying the rest of my hair, I'm noticing these are getting flatter and flatter. So what I'm going to do is simply put them right in the diffuser and let this run for just a minute, maybe 45 seconds, maybe a minute, till it breathes a little bit of life back into them. Here we go. a lot better because I want to maintain this volume while my roots are still warm. I'm going to scoop my bangs all up and just clip them up from underneath. I'm taking these double prong clips and going in just like this. I'm going to use three, lift them from 
the root. Now I'm going to just finish drying my hair completely. I'll probably go ahead and clip the rest of my hair here in just a minute. If you have questions on how to do that, I do have videos. I will link those up here and I'll put them in the description box below. These double prong clips are really, really easy to find. These are the Diva Curl ones that have been discontinued, so they're really big, but you can get smaller ones that are double prong from Sally's, like a 10 pack for three or four dollars, I think. Um, really inexpensive. You can find them on Amazon. I have them in my Amazon shop as well, if that helps you. Um, make sure you get the double prong clips without the bar in the middle because the bar in the middle will wreck your life. I'm going to finish drying my hair and I'll be back with you momentarily. Hair's almost dry and these bangs are holding strong. Okay, we are dry, we are crunchy. I'm gonna go put on my face while I let this just set. I'm letting all the hydrogen bonds in my hair reset as my hair completely dries. That's an important step, don't rush it. This is not hard. You can totally do it, right? Am I right? I'm totally right. Okay, here we go, face is on. Clips are still in. Take them out. You guys, I feel like I've been making sort of the same video for the last several years. I wanna tell you guys more things that you wanna know. So do me a favor, in the comments box below, leave me some questions you have. Tell me some videos you'd like to see me make because I feel like I've been talking about hair for three years. I don't wanna sound like a broken record, so whatever you'd like to hear me say, let me know. Okay, all the clips are out. We've got some good volume, we've got some good curls. Let's scrunch it out. Now since bangs are so short, they might be hard to scrunch out. You can always clap them out and that will help get rid of the crunch without destroying your curl pattern. Hey, look, came out good and I just cut them too, obviously. So the length is like right on. When they get too long for me, they drive me crazy and they separate, they won't stay together, they look horrible. So hey, I, I'm glad I cut them to the right length because sometimes when you cut them, you don't know how they'll curl up the next day. I'm super happy with how these turned out. Um, you know, you can separate them, kind of wear them to the side like that if you like. You can wear them a lot thicker, like right in your face. I mean, it's up to you, like whatever you like, but here's the thing, don't be scared of the fringe. Don't be scared of the fringe, okay? Like it's so in style, it's so much fun right now. Um, it makes big foreheads, like my my five head, look a little smaller. Um, it just it just looks more youthful. It's just, I don't know, it's super fun. And you know what? It's not difficult to style. Okay, let's cut these bangs. They are way too long. They're getting in my eyes. They're hitting my, my eyelids. I really can't stand it. So two tools, a comb and a pair of shears. Please use a nice pair of shears. Get something from Target even if you need to. But please, whatever you do, don't use like your kitchen shears. That's no good for anyone. So the first thing I do is I just determine where I really want to cut, make my first cuts. Usually from pupil to pupil is what I like to do. I keep my bangs a little bit more on the narrow side because when they curl, they tend to spread out. So I typically don't go arch of my eyebrow to arch of my eyebrow. It's usually pupil to pupil. And then I determine how short I want them to be and then cut across. So establish that perimeter first, and then you can go in and detail a little bit with some point cutting to make sure that they're, they're wispy enough um, without being thin. They just have a little bit of texture at the bottom so you don't have that heavy line straight across your eyebrows. I'm a big fan of this technique just to really blend the edge of that line. And then next what you can do, because um, elevation, AKA elevating the hair, can really lend an additional degree of blending. And so what I'm going to do after this is take the hair straight up and blend from there. It's not an easy thing to do. Um, this is obviously an optional step all the way this, but don't cut your fingers. So hair goes straight up and scissors go down. Okay, I hope this video was helpful to you guys. As always, um, give me a thumbs up if this was helpful. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. How are you not subscribed? We hang out here, it's cool. I'm never gonna be one of those YouTubers who does a video twice a week. Like I'm lucky if I do one once a month, but I love doing it. I love interacting with you guys and I love being able to help you in any small way in your curly, wavy, textured hair journey of some kind. So I hope to see you around here again soon and I'll talk to you later. Y'all have a great curl day, see ya.